Chemical properties of amines part one. So amines are weak bases like ammonia and therefore they react in a similar way to the way ammonia reacts. So if we look at the reaction with water, ammonia in water can accept a proton where the proton, the H plus ion, comes from the water molecule and it is able to attach to the ammonia structure where the double or non-bonding pair of electrons is. So we've got H plus leaving water and attaching itself to the NH3 group where that non-bonding pair of electrons in, uh, is. So we end up with NH4 plus and OH minus. Similarly with amines we have a non-bonding pair of electrons on the nitrogen but this time one of the hydrogens is replaced with a hydrocarbon group. Again a hydrogen from the water molecule, hydrogen ion from the water molecule, attaches itself to the amine functional group where the non-bonding pair of electrons is. And we left with OH minus. Now this is an equilibrium, so we show this with a pair of reversible arrows and um, only a small percentage of the amine actually reacts to give us the amine salt and uh, the hydroxide ion. So we end up with NH3 plus attached to our hydrocarbon. Now in a similar way to the way um, amines react with water, they will also react with acid. Just like ammonia will. And they can accept that proton again. So we have this structure again with the NH2 attached to a hydrocarbon non-bonding pair of electrons on the nitrogen, this time reacting it with HCl. So we've got hydrochloric acid reacting here. And the proton comes from hydrochloric acid this time. So we've got H plus again attaching itself where that non-bonding pair of electrons is. Now that non-bonding pair of electrons forms the bond with the H plus because the hydrogen ion is not bringing an electron with it. So it can't form, it can't donate a an electron to the bond. They both have to be, both the electrons have to be on the nitrogen already. So once again we get that NH3 group forming on our amine. So this is called an ammonium salt, um, ethyl ammonium salt. And we've got the chloride ion. So we would call the salt as a whole ethyl ammonium chloride. Now Carboxylic acids, like any acids, will react with bases. So amines will react with carboxylic acids as well. Again, we have the non-bonding pair of electrons on the nitrogen, which was donating the two electrons to form the bond. This time the hydrogen ion is coming from the carboxylic acid functional group. Now it has to come from this functional group. The hydrogen ion does not come off the CH3 group. It does not come from the unreactive hydrocarbon part of the carboxylic acid, only from this part of the molecule. Okay, so we end up with our NH3 group again, and the carboxylic acid has lost its hydrogen and has a negative charge on its oxygen now. So we end up with, here we've got the hydrocarbon ammonium ion, so ethyl ammonium ion, and the ion from the carboxylic acid is called a carboxylate. So if we were to name this one with two carbons in it, it would end in O8. So this is the ethanoate ion.